exactly what I thought. Obviously, it's too light, you're not going to get what you want. But he's going to play. You're the target. You know, you can never have control. Hey, don't pull me down. Oh! Guys, so I just wanted to do a quick video because tonight is the night where I get whisked away to a secret location um, with Mark and Rich from West London, our normal team, to try and uh, find some paranormal activity. What am I doing? What am I doing? Um, yeah. For those who are interested, I'm going to post the links up around here somewhere of how you can watch some bits that are going live tonight online um, and other bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, if you don't hear from me guys, I'm in trouble. So, um, you said it, it was 20 yards from the bridge, so that's, that's the bridge, okay. Yeah. Um, that's the bridge where people will get... What? Don't say nothing. Oh, let me go down there, sure. Nope. Can't wait for it to get dark here. You know what's been here? There's right. been hangings here. Hangings? Yep. Straight away, I've got that. Mm. What? Right, so I don't know none of the history, so mm. what I'm getting is fear. But I'm also getting people hanging, so you need to research that. It's like an overwhelming sense of dread, and I don't want to go that way. Right, okay, yeah. But do you know what, if any children have been murdered here? Don't think there's been any children murdered here. But there's been murders. Yeah, there has been murders here. That's, this, this soaks it up. Mm -hmm. It soaks up that energy and that's the fear. I'm being pulled one way. Oh, my voice is changing so something's coming through. There's a woman and she's scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Can you tell us what happened to you? Can you tell me? She was raped. Do you know who raped you? Do you know who raped you? So she came from this place where she was brought here to be raped, basically. <laughs> Do you know any, do you, can you research all this? Yeah, I can do it, yeah. I can research all of it, yeah. She was brought here to be raped, and it was like traumatic and she was murdered here. So when you get to here, this is like a, a vortex of energy, so like all of us hold different emotions, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you might pick up on one emotion going through, where I'm picking up on death. I'm surrounded by death in this space. And she... I'm going to try and come through again. Can you do that for me? Can you tell me your name? I want to say Sylvia. Is your name Sylvia? Can you make those lights flash? Is your name Sylvia or Sylvie? Come on, use my energy. You've got all this good, strong energy you can use. This is like the point of no return. And I think that's where she was probably raped in that mausoleum thing. Like, I want to like, if, well, if there is something to it, like. But it, if we get attacked, it's going to attack you. Okay. Yeah? Oh, Go on, what? <laughs> is there anything like you thought? No, it's like some stones on the floor, and that's where I wasn't allowed to go past. <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing. It's nice. Yeah. No way. I was told I couldn't go any further than the stones. My heart's racing. Shit. It's not. It's not identical. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and say is this, this is you? the place. Was this where the yeah. the girl took you? I was saying to him a minute ago. We walked past and she was like, it got to some bollards. Like it was like the bollards. Yeah, you said, and yeah. they left you here and went. And I wasn't allowed to go any further. And there are bollards on the floor. Wow. This was the point. It was like. Now's your chance to go forward. Thank you. So I open up the 
not to spirit. When the guides lead me to the spirit and wish to communicate with us this evening, we welcome you to come forward. If at any time a malevolent spirit comes through, you are not allowed to touch anybody else but me. I thank my guides for opening me. Thank my guides for the spirit that are going to come forward. And may I ask my guides to bring forward Mr. Cash. Spirit that are in this circle with us, this doll has been opened up as a vessel to accept you and your energy. If you wish to use our energy, please feel free to. Please enter her and use her as a vessel to talk to us, if you wish. But we're calling Mr. Cash. Mr. Cash, was it you that did this to my arm this morning? If it was you, can you? Make a sound when you touch one of us. Did it flash? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Was it you that? Oh, second. Is it you that leant over to my shoulder and said, "I'm not scared of you"? Was that you, Mr. Cash? Was that you? Did you tell me that you wasn't scared of me? Well, you're not allowed to touch anyone else. You're not allowed to touch Nick. You're not allowed to touch Mark, Richard, or Adam. Try and push me down that well, because I think you're useless. I don't think you do try and push people down that well. I think people frighten themselves. Is that right? Is that what you do? Look, I'm on the edge. Push me. Push me down. Come on. You frighten all these people. And you've been telling me for over a week now, showing me little signs, and this is it. This is the best you can do. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Come on. Come on. To any spirit energy that's in this circle, come and scare us. Come and do something bizarre. Come on. Are you scared of my energy? If you're scared of my energy, I want you to cross the rods. From my centre. From my centre. Mr. Cash. Or Cash, whatever they call you. If you're here, can you cross the rods for me? Centre. Right. So you can do that. Now do something that's going to make our eyes pop. Get angry. You get angry. Get angry. <coughs> you had this earlier. What's it you actually getting? I felt like my, like, not even like strangle. You know we, you know we like, you know we sometimes give it a good. <gasps> you sometimes strain a bit too much. It's like. So what he's telling me is exactly what I thought. Obviously, it's too light, you're not going to get what you want. But he's going to play. You're the target. Is that a warning that he's had already? Yeah. And the reason you're the target, though I don't know whether he was involved with anything with the devil. 
to be like a good home. But that little girl bringing you in, I bet that you're stressed. So, in. so what I am going to do is I am going to give you some protection just to make sure you're safe. Okay. So I am going to give you some protection. You get the warning, he's got out of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, this little girl, did she say your name when she took your hand? She mm. never said a word. The only time she did see it was when, in my dream, she said, wait here, that's all she said. Yeah. That's exactly what we've got to do. We've got to wait outside there. We've got to wait outside there until he comes to play you. Does that make sense? Oh, in my dream, I wasn't, like, it, it's, it doesn't look exactly the same, but yeah. there was some, like I said to you, John, before we got mm. here, there was like some bollards, like some stones on the floor, yeah. and I got to there, That's the, the and there are the, the stones outside, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's exactly where. And the only yeah. two words. As soon as you got that hill and you saw the stone, I could see. <coughs> like, yeah. well, she didn't say my name. It was, it was just wait here. And you've had experiences before. Yeah. yeah. I think what's happened is she's opened up spiritually, obviously because you knew you were going to be doing this, and this is like. So what I'm assuming is we're going to have to release some little girls off later on. Perfect, Rich. Good evening, everyone. Uh, we are down at Langdon Hills Park at Cash's Well. We have just walked 300 yards from the car to the well. Um, open space. The actual path itself is about 30 foot wide. No brambles, no bushes. You certainly weren't walking near the edge, that's for sure. Unexplainable. We have Jackie from SEP down here tonight. Um, we've got three quarters of the way down. She's like, what's that? Mark's like, what's that? And when then we look at her leg, and if we pan down to her Jack, Jackie's right side, and you can tell us what you make of this. Like I say, we were on a wide path, open area, three proportionate strike lines, pulled blood, sign of the Holy Trinity. What do you make of that? And also that Jackie didn't even feel a thing. She, she can corroborate that right now. She's standing right here next to me. Never Jackie, what do you think about that? I don't know, because I didn't even realise it was there. So it's weird, because I thought... You've got Michael what, that's saying it's never a good sign. When I looked at Hi, it... Hi, Michael. When I looked at it, I would have thought that I would have felt that, but I didn't feel it. So we'll see. And again, re reiterating, way over 30 foot wide path. Then there's grass, then there's trees. No brambles and easily walking three, four across and not even touching the sides. So unexplainable this one. There we go. Listen, three blood dots, blood will drip downwards. Just, just clarify what you've got. Go on. Okay, so we've cleaned it up. Um, Jackie's three cuts. And now... Amusingly, we are left with three dots. So, physics, if you have three bleeding dots, the blood, unless she's running at 3,000 miles an hour, will run down the leg, not across the leg uniformly. Otherwise, there will be smudges. There, there will be smudges across the leg for a start. And that wasn't the case as you've just witnessed. And going back to that as well, I was walking with Jackie all the way. I can validate that we didn't go for any bushes or anything like that. So, what are we in for tonight? I mean, was that a threat from someone? Who knows? We're about to go six hours overnight here. And will you use my body as a vessel to talk to these boys? If that's possible. Can you
It's not Jackie we need to know we're speaking to. So you need to give us a name so that we can give you that acknowledgement. Who's with us? Who are you? Let us know your name so we can speak to you. Why? Why what the way? Why am I here? Because you must have some kind of message for us. But we just need to know who we're speaking to. So what's your name? Margaret. Margaret. Okay, darling, what day is it? What, my darling? Where were they? And they didn't come with you? Oh, how many was the Margaret? Seventeen. Seventeen children with you? And where were you all going? Where were you all going, Margaret? Where were you going to? Ah, oh, so it's a nice summer's day that you were all going on. And you've lost all 17. Who'd, who did they? Are they hiding, Margaret? Huh? Who's the bastard, Margaret? Who is he? Why is he a bastard? Is this still Margaret? Margaret, is that still you? Margaret, have you gone? Margaret, did you go? Or are you still with us? Margaret? Now then, who's they? What's your name? What was her name? Okay, sir, what wasn't your fault? Okay, what was the soil? What did it do? Who 
Who are you watching? What's your name? How do we address you? So what? So why? We just need to know we're addressing, sir, that's all. Just to verify what you say. What's your name? No, no spies here, sir. No spies here. What have you done that we're spying on? No, I know, sir, you said. I know, I know you said that, sir. I know, I understand. I know he's accusing you, sir. Tell us your story. Tell us what they told you the soil would do. Who did, sir? Okay, okay. How many tunnels were there, sir? Can you tell us any more, sir? Oh, we got now. Go back, Jasper. Sure? Sure? Take a deep breath, then. Not really, did you? Yeah. Not you at all. You tried to confuse me before, haven't you, Dave? <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me that you didn't try and confuse us before, did you? Adam? I heard you say you're feeling angry, Adam. Yes, who are you then? Who are you? I want to know. You don't scare me. Tell me who you are. You can't intimidate me either. Ever. You look after Jackie. You don't scare any of us. Who are you? Come on, who are you? Who are we talking to? Take a deep breath. Let's try that one again. Who are we talking to? Who's me? It's Mike. Who's me? Tell me your name. Tell me your name. Yeah, you lose your temper as much as you want. I'm not interested. You tell me your name, and then I'll know what I'm speaking to. I know it's frustrating. Can you imagine being this side of it? You tell me who I'm speaking to. John Charles Hallsworth. Hallworth. Hallworth, sorry. Okay. Okay, John Charles, where are you from? What's your story? Governor Hall? Governor of what, sir? 
Okay? It was there. Yeah. And then it's you. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay? <coughs> and now let go of your arm then, all right? Fuck me. Nothing, mother. Three, two, one. Are you back? Are you yeah. back with us? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Big time. Yeah. Is it really you, yeah? yeah. You're not going to jump in the well, are you? All right. I had a matter leave. Yeah, yeah. Around, you will get a small succession of two or three people that, that come forward. If we get anything really negative, Jackie trusts me and I trust Jackie to bring the other one back round. Um, and, and we just talk really gently and really calm to the person that we ever actually know is with us. Um, but occasionally what can happen, which you did just see, you'll get a false so that's basically what's happened. We've just done a bit of oh, it's back fully. Thank God. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you'll be sitting out and you're absorbing it. But you need to take control of what your energy is. Do you know what I mean? Come, my love. I know. This is how it really is in the real world. This is how it is in the real world. But you you'll learn. You'll learn to. You, I promise you, I promise you, you'll be fine. I don't even know they're any fucking. I don't know, but we're gonna we're gonna help them. We're gonna set them free. You watch, you watch. When we're ready to do it, you'll be part of it, and they'll be free, and they'll tell you that. You'll hear them tell you. I promise you. Deep breath, nice deep breath. You feeling a bit better now, Adam? Or? Yeah. You calm down, honestly. We'll sort them out. I promise you. Well. This is me. Don't step back, love. There's a big hill. <laughs> this go. is what it's all about, right? This is what happens, and you're going to go through a lot worse than this because it's what we do, right? This is your first time of experiencing something like that, so your reaction is totally understandable. But I promise you. The main thing is don't let it get the better of you. All right? Don't let it get into your head. Oh, I'm just going to have a drink and a break, mm. mate. Yeah. You know, mm. like, have a fag. Don't give it power. Yeah, have Chill a last drink. Have a Red Bull. At the moment, I'm sitting right up against the well. Uh, the cash is well, or as it is more known these days, Hell's Well, which I got voted to do. Thanks everybody. Um, so I'm here now. So with me, I have a cat ball, which if it gets moved, it is a motion detector. And there is an on and off button on the top. That will be going straight down with the on and off button on the top. So it cannot be manipulated. I also have an EMF reader on the floor. So if we have any spikes in the electromagnetic fields, then that will start to do uh, rise in numbers. And also, as you're probably more than aware, we have our trusty little REM pod. Straight from Paranormal Electronics UK. You can see them, I'll put the link up later. So any, any, any force that comes close to us, we'll set one of these off. So I'd like to start by inviting Mr. Cash to come and visit me, come and talk to me, come and spend some time with me. I mean you no harm here. I would just like to speak to you. You can make your presence felt in any way you wish. If you would like to come close to the REM pod, it will go off. Show us some magnetic force. The reader will go up or move this cat ball here. So if there's Mr. Cash, Edwin Cash, the builder, of these wells. Please come and speak to me. Also, if there are any other spirits present, I mean you no harm. I am here in peace with you. I can help show you the light if that's what you wish. There are groups of people down here with us. And they're over at the bridge at the moment. 
we also know that the bridge is a very haunted, paranormal place. Come on, Cash, show yourself to me. I hear that in the 1920s, you were quite the entrepreneur and you decided to build these wells, trying to profit from them. And all of a sudden it all turned a bit sour, didn't it? And you got very angry about it. But what you didn't do was stop the production of all of the mineral water that you were selling at an extortionate amount of money. So the equivalent these days of six pounds per bottle because you marketed it as a medicinal purposes tonic. So people fell for that and it's magical properties. No one ever got better from it. In fact, what happened? Tell me what happened, come forward. Show me your anger at what happened. People started buying it in abundance. And then they got ill, didn't they? Why did they get ill? Come and tell me why they all were sick. Well, I have to tell you, do I? You were here earlier, I'm sure. And now you've gone all shy. Come and touch this pod. Come and do this. Can't believe you're being a coward. After all the things that you did to everybody, then thousands of people that were making you the equivalent of six pounds per bottle in today's money. I don't even know how much that was then. It was a lot of money for your tonic. And when you found out that the spring water got contaminated, you carried on selling it, even though people were becoming severely, seriously ill. You then started marking it as the clean out tonic. It will flush your system out. Yeah, you weren't wrong. Because it was poisoning people, giving them severe stomach cramps, stomach pains. So what happened? Why did it get contaminated? Because there's an asylum at the top of the hill where all the children were. Unfortunately, lots of children died up at the asylum because it was a hospital for tuberculosis. And in those days, it was rife and pretty much uncurable. So unfortunately, lots of the children died and all the water got cross-contaminated because the asylum's uh, water waste would run across your spring. And that's why it contaminated your wells. Come show me. Show me yourself. You are a nasty, evil, horrible man making men, women, children, old people, you sent them to early graves with the poisoning. And then all your businesses fell apart, didn't they? The Vange Enterprise, all fell apart. All the wells collapsed, your business collapsed. Oh, I forgot one thing. I can't believe the ghoul of you even selling this spring tonic in the pubs in London. And one such pub, very famous pub, was the Angel in Islington. And it still stands today, not selling your disgusting medicine. You still got nothing to say to me, no? I'll give you one thing though. The top of this building that I'm standing in, sorry, sitting in right now, the well, your hell's well has a dome above us made of iron and that dome i don't know if you could see it on the camera 
but we will put a picture of it up in the video. The dome is actually what the Angel Pub in Islington actually still has exactly the same that was modelled on this. So if, if you want to go to the Angel Pub in Islington and see the roof of the well, it's exactly the same in the centre of the pub. But you, sir, are a very disgusting man. Evil. And I want you to come and play. Temperature's gone down very rapidly here. When I sat down it was 23, it's now 19. Um, but the temperature is dropping, so and we are outside on location. But it is a, quite a big drop quite quickly. Why don't you come and touch the, the, uh, the ball here, or the REM pod? Any children here? We heard laughing in the woods earlier. We couldn't be too sure that it wasn't people going past. But it did sound a bit odd. The children used to come down here and play from the asylum. They used to come out from the top of the hill, run down, play here. I'm sure they used to jump in the well. Maybe someone had an accident. Come and speak to me. Very quiet. Tell me about this place. I know next door is the bottle shed where they used to bottle all the water. Did you use the children for doing that? Is that why the children's spirits are around here? Why don't you come and talk to me? Come and move the ball. Spike my meters. So everybody who's following live, thank you very much for tuning in. Not much going on at the moment, but you've got a history lesson. And uh, we'll definitely come back. Very quiet. Not much going on here at all at the moment. But it is early still, it's still early. And we're here for a few more hours yet. So we will keep going. Come and show yourself. In any way you choose. Use me. Use my energy. Use my energy. Set the ball off. Make the ball flash. Set the REM pod. I'll show you again how to use it with your energy. You bring your energy into me. You can do that. My hands are back. I'm nowhere near it. I'm nowhere near the ball. The well, which is right down here in front of me, is a very, very eerie place. I don't feel comfortable sitting here. I feel that there's an aura or an energy. And I don't think it's a good energy. I think there's a bad energy in here. And I want you to come out of that area that you're hiding and show me something. Because at the moment, you're not showing anything. We've come a long way to be with you tonight. And we are not leaving until you do something or show us something. And if we have to antagonise you to come out, we will do so. Because so far I've been nice, unlike your whole life, of nastiness, deceit, cruelty, some would say murder. The poisons that you were putting into people's bodies and profiting from that makes you a nasty, evil person. 